Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you the pen tool. I will teach you how to use this powerful tool in Illustrator. In video, you will be taught how to easily make smooth and curved lines of your designs with the help of this tool and use it in the best way in your projects. I hope you enjoy watching this tutorial and it will be useful for you. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification to be aware from my latest videos. Let's get started. To use this tool, click on the pen tool. Then from the menu on the right, set the fill option to none. Also change the stroke to black color with a thickness of 2. Click to use in any part of the page. After clicking, a blue line is displayed which with the help of that you can draw any line you want. With the second click on the screen, your line will be make. And you can continue to do this and create more lines. Then to the stop drawing, press the escape key. If you want to continue the design again, just enough to select the anchor point option. And keep up your design. Also, press Ctrl plus Z to return to the previous steps. I will create this line like the previous step I told you about and press the escape key. Well, now let me tell you some of the features of this tool. Using the direct select tool, you can select an anchor point and move it. Also, using the pen tool itself, you can clear your anchor point. Pay attention to the negative sign. And also when you move on other points of the line you can see a plus sign that by clicking on it you can add a new anchor point. Now let's look at other shapes. You can easily complete this star with smooth lines. And to close this plan, you must click on the first point where this plan started. Let's go for the second plan. By holding the shift button. This line stays fixed at different angles such as 90 and 75 degrees. Like this shape we can hold the shift, select the next point and keep doing this until the design is complete. Well, let's go to the last design and, like the previous design, complete this design using shift. And using the direct select tool, we can give arcs to this line. Pay attention to these circles. By taking these circles and drawing them, an arc is created for us. Click to draw curved lines with this tool. And click a second time and hold the mouse click. You can create curved lines by holding down the mouse click. To draw a C-shaped curve, first click and hold and drag around. If you drag the mouse upwards, an upward arc is created and if you drag the mouse down, an arc is created down. Do the second click and drag. By holding the shift, you can draw your line at different angles. Let's go to the next shape as in the previous shape. Create C shape. With the first click and the second click, the shape is created. And to continue this design, click on the third point and create the shape. Let's go to the next shape, which is a little different. Recreate C shape. But if you look carefully, you will notice that the line is moving in the opposite direction of our shape. To solve this problem, hold the Alt key and drag the upper handle to down. And as you can see, the line will be in the direction you want and you can complete your shape. In the next shape, again you can use shift to complete your design and create a shape similar to S. In the next shape, complete the design as in the previous shape, but this time if you pay attention, you will see that the line breaks suddenly. To fix it, one of the handles must be removed so that you can draw this line smoothly. To clear the handle, you should hold the Alt key and click on the anchor point. Now the handle is removed and you can complete the design. Let's go to the last shape. In this design, as you can see, 
Unlike the previous shape, you need a handle. To create a new handle, you should hold the Alt key and select the Anchor Point option to create a handle. And give the appropriate shape to the created handle. And draw the continues of your design. We have prepared an exercise design for you and have included in it everything that has been taught in this video. You can complete this design to better understand the use of this tool. The download link of this design is in the description. Always after you have completed your design, again try to check any problems in your design and fix it. If you still need more videos about this tool, you can use the link that now appears at the top right of the page. Don't forget to leave a like subscribe and tell us in the comments section anything what you would like us to make movie about.